Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. See reactive protein test. Table of content. Introduction to C-reactive protein. Principle of CRP test. Uses of CRP test. Procedure of CRP test. Result, interpretation of CRP test. Limitations of CRP test. Introduction to C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein, also referred to as pentraxin-1, is a non-glycosylated protein that belongs to the pentraxin family, which also includes pentraxin-2 slash SAP and pentraxin-3 slash TSG-14. It functions as an acute phase reactant, meaning it is produced by the liver and released into the bloodstream within a few hours, following tissue injury, the onset of an infection, or other causes of inflammation. Elevated C-reactive protein levels in the blood indicate that an inflammatory process may be occurring in the body. While inflammation itself is not usually a direct problem, it can serve as a marker for a variety of health concerns such as infection, arthritis, kidney failure, and pancreatitis. High C-reactive protein levels may also signal an increased risk of developing coronary artery disease, a condition that can lead to heart attacks. A C-reactive protein test is a blood test specifically designed to measure the amount of C-reactive protein present in the blood. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Principle of C-reactive protein test. The C-reactive protein test operates on the principle of latex agglutination. In this method, latex particles coated with human anti-C-reactive protein antibodies are combined with the patient's serum. If C-reactive proteins are present in the serum, they bind to the antibodies on the latex particles. This binding triggers a visible agglutination, clumping reaction. The agglutination typically occurs within two minutes, indicating the presence of C-reactive protein in the sample. Uses of C-reactive protein test C-reactive protein testing can be used to detect or monitor significant inflammation in individuals suspected of having acute conditions, such as serious bacterial infections like sepsis, fungal infections, and pelvic inflammatory disease. It is valuable for monitoring patients with chronic inflammatory conditions to identify flare-ups and or assess the effectiveness of treatment. Examples include inflammatory bowel disease, certain forms of arthritis, and autoimmune diseases such as lupus or vasculitis. Measuring C-reactive protein levels is useful for monitoring the response to therapy. The test is performed to check for infection after surgery, as C-reactive protein levels typically rise within two to six hours post-surgery and then decrease by the third day. If C-reactive protein levels remain elevated beyond the third day after surgery, it may indicate the presence of an infection Procedure of C-reactive protein test. Qualitative test. Bring all reagents and the serum sample to room temperature and gently mix the latex reagent before use. Do not dilute the controls or the serum. Place one drop of serum, one drop of positive control, and one drop of negative control on separate reaction circles of a glass slide. Add one drop of C-reactive protein latex reagent to each reaction circle. 
mix each circle with a separate mixing stick and spread the fluid over the entire cell area. Tilt the slide back and forth slowly for two minutes, preferably under artificial light. Observe for visible agglutination. Semi-quantitative test. Prepare serial dilutions of the specimen using 0.9% physiological saline according to the specified table for the C-reactive protein test. Perform the test on each dilution following the same procedure as for the qualitative test. Result interpretation of C-reactive protein test. Positive. Presence of visible agglutination of latex particles, indicating that C-reactive protein is present at a significant and detectable level. Negative. No visible agglutination observed. Semi-quantitative test. Interpretation. The C-reactive protein titer is determined by identifying the last serum dilution that still shows visible agglutination. Calculation of titer. Where D is the highest serum dilution showing agglutination and 7 micrograms per milliliter is the test's sensitivity. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Limitations of C-reactive protein test. The strength of the agglutination reaction does not directly indicate the C-reactive protein concentration. Weak reactions may occur with either slightly elevated or markedly elevated C-reactive protein levels. Antigen excess, prozone phenomenon, can result in false negative results. Therefore, all negative sera should be rechecked by retesting at a 1 to 10 dilution. Extending the reaction time beyond the specified limit may cause false reactions due to the drying effect. Strongly lipemic or contaminated sera can lead to false positive results. Only serum should be used for this test. A quantitative titration procedure is necessary for positive specimens to monitor increasing or decreasing C-reactive protein levels. Patients with high titers of rheumatoid factors may produce positive results. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.